What's up everyone, Big Dan here, and in this video, we're going to explore 15 secrets and tiny details you may have missed in Hogwarts Legacy. Number 1. What happens if you run around Hogwarts in your underwear? Drip matters, and there are lots of cool outfits and gear to choose from in Hogwarts Legacy. However, if you switch your outfit appearance to invisible, or select one of the nightwear outfits, many NPCs will comment on your letting it all hang out. Nice underclothes. Oh, um, I see you're not dressed. Seems an odd choice for wandering about outside your dormitory. Such vestments do little for one's safety. It uh, warms Dean's heart to see a student so comfortable. Didn't care to get dressed for the day. My older brothers were all sorts Aren't we in a casual mood? Technically, I guess it is sleepwear, not underwear. But hey, nonetheless, tis inappropriate. So make sure you dress to the nines, lest you be roasted by everyone on the map. Number two. Tin soldiers will sometimes fight each other. Throughout the castle, you'll find a number of suits of armor, stationed to guard the Great Hall, and a number of other locations. Sometimes you'll even stumble upon them fighting each other, though. Well, that was excessive. All right, time to pay some bills. This video is sponsored by Mech Arena. Dishing out big damage with big weapons is one of my favorite parts of playing video games. So taking the field with a gigantic badass robot strapped up with nade launchers was immediately appealing to me. Mech Arena is a free to play, fast paced sci-fi shooter where you can live the dream of being a legendary robot pilot in high intensity team PVP battles. The game is available on Android, iOS, and PC. What I really like about Mech Arena are the customization and build options for your mechs. There are dozens of different weapons and paint jobs to fine tune your robot into a pristine battle machine. Plus, there are loads of different mechs to unlock, each with their own unique play styles. So let's talk about two of my favorite mechs that I've been playing with recently. The Guardian is for the player who believes the best defense is a good offense. This bad boy is all about eliminating enemy defenses and eviscerating mechs with heavy weapons. The Guardian's System Crash ability is OP. With the click of a button, you can reset enemy cooldowns, remove all active abilities, and force reload all their weapons, making them a sitting duck for you to destroy. The Panther is one of the best mechs for controlling the battlefield. Its stasis ability makes it invulnerable to damage, plus its high energy capacity means it can equip the heaviest weapons in the game, like the Railgun and long arm snipers. Just don't get caught out in the open without your shields. Mech Arena is constantly being updated with new game modes, events, and weapons, like the Nade Launcher 12. The brand new free-for-all mode allows you to compete in Battle Royale style matches, take out the most mechs to earn the title of Kill Leader, and earn the best rewards to upgrade your robots and weapons. And the best part of all, it's completely free to play. So download Mech Arena right now using my link in the description or scanning the QR code. You'll get $15 worth of bonuses to get you started. We're talking one amateur crate, 300 A coins, and one Pulse Cannon 4. So what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description to download Mech Arena right now. Big shout out to Mech Arena for sponsoring this video. Number three, the petrifying painting. If you explore the basement area near Professor Sharp's classroom, you will discover a puzzle door with a curious painting stationed behind it. Use Revelio to show a field guide description of the Gorgon portrait, which depicts a man kissing the hand of a beautiful Gorgon. The snake hair lady is more commonly known as Medusa, a figure in Greek mythology whose gaze can turn its target into stone. But the curious part about the painting is that if you interact with it, your character will become petrified. Hilariously, if you do not press the button prompt, your character will simply topple over. Number four, it was just a prank, bro. While exploring Hogsmeade, you may trigger a random event involving a pair of Hogwarts students outside Zonko's joke shop. Back. And what back, sir? But we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? 
I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir. We'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. That was a bit harsh. Number five, progression of the seasons. As you progress through the main story, you may notice that the decorations around Hogwarts Castle will change as well. You can see pumpkins for Halloween and later on decorations for Christmas. Number six, student conjures blizzard. As you explore Hogwarts, you may notice students getting up to all sorts of shenanigans. I discovered a random student conjuring a snow cloud over themselves outside the boathouse. Not sure why he'd want to do that though. Number seven, the Werewolf Saga Tapestries. Hogwarts Castle is filled with a number of hidden rooms and secret corridors. Many of these spaces just have a chest or two of random loot, but there is one secret room filled with beautiful tapestries. If you fast travel to the Bell Tower Courtyard and follow the path I've been showing on screen, you'll arrive at a wall with a tapestry with a giant K. Go through the K-hole, which is covering a hidden door, and head to the back to find a werewolf statue and a Revelio page with information about the werewolf saga tapestries. Curiously, if you use Lumos near the tapestries, some of them will change, revealing the true sad story of this saga. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Hogwarts Legacy content. Number 8. Barnabas the Barmy while we're talking about tapestries, we might as well cover the hilarious one sitting outside the Room of Requirement. It depicts a number of trolls wearing tutus smashing a man with a club. You can learn more about the backstory to this tapestry if you accept a side quest called Troll Control in the hamlet of Brockborough. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. Number nine, students commenting on dark magic usage. During Sebastian's quest line, you'll have the opportunity to learn three unforgivable curses, Crucio, Imperio, and Avada Kedavra. If you bust out these immensely powerful spells in front of your companions, many of them will have comments about your use of dark magic. Curse. If you want to hear all the comments, then check out my video on what happens if you use dark magic. Number 10, cow tipping. While most of your spells will not work on non-hostile human NPCs out in the game world, you can use some spells, like Levioso, on farm animals you find on the map. In fact, you can use the spell Flipendo to go cow tipping, and if you do this 10 times, you'll unlock an achievement called Spilled Milk. Number 11, Witches Brewing Potions. If you explore the witch's bathroom outside Professor Fig's class, you'll discover a freshly brewed potion sitting in the last stall on the left. This is a reference to the time Hermione brewed a polyjuice potion in the bathroom during Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Number 12, Basilisk in the Slytherin Common Room. This next one might be a bit of a conspiracy, so buckle up. In the Wizarding World, Salazar Slytherin placed a basilisk inside the Chamber of Secrets as part of his grand plan to purify Hogwarts of any mages with muggle blood. There are two staircases leading up to the Chamber of Secrets within the Slytherin common room in Hogwarts Legacy. However, if you try to ascend the stairs, you'll be tossed back to the bottom. It's rumored this zone will be part of an upcoming DLC, but one player noticed something rather strange while exploring the area. Twitter user Maxim Ragey posted this video, which appears to show a large snake or basilisk traveling through the corridor up the staircase. It's still unconfirmed as to whether this is a bug or feature, but I was unable to reproduce this event in my own game, so I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with the DLC. Number 13, Bridge Puzzle. There are three secrets of Hogwarts that are included in your field guide, which when completed will unlock some new outfit appearances. 
One of them is located on a bridge near the viaduct courtyard. Simply light the braziers with a flame spell like Confringo or Incendio, and then match the numbers and symbols shown on the floor of the bridge. This will open up a passage below filled with some loot and collection items. Number 14. Clock Tower Puzzle A second secret can be discovered inside the clock tower where you participate in Lucian's dueling club. There is a pendulum swinging between four symbols. Use Glacius on the pendulum when it lines up with one of the symbols, and a corresponding door will open up somewhere inside the tower. From the bottom of the tower to the top, the symbols correspond to the furthest left to the furthest right. One is on the ground floor, and the other three are found by climbing the tower. You can use fire spells to unfreeze the pendulum to get it swinging again, or simply wait until it unfreezes. Once you've opened and accessed all four doors, you'll complete the field guide challenge. Number 15, Headmaster's Office and Puzzle. The final secret of Hogwarts requires a few quests to be completed in order to access it. First, you will need to acquire the highest level of Alohomora by collecting 22 Demiguise Moons for Gladwin Moon. Then, as part of the Polyjuice Plot main story quest, you'll gain access to the Headmaster's Office. Head out the locked door on the left and up the stairs to a level 3 locked door. Once inside, you'll unlock an achievement for reaching the highest point in the castle. Grab the key of admittance from the desk, which will give you access to a locked door back below in the tower. This room contains the Quill of Acceptance and Book of Admittance, which records new students coming into Hogwarts. This will unlock the last field guide challenge for Secrets of Hogwarts. So there you have it. 15 secrets and tiny details you may have missed in Hogwarts Legacy. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Hogwarts Legacy and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.